Hi Sunshines, welcome back to my channel Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And in this video today, we are finally going to be doing the highly requested video. We've been receiving comments about doing this video forever. Yep. And I think we both got it down. You got it down. Like, yeah. like we said last week, ma, ma, after a year and a half, you finally learned how to refresh. Yeah, so we're gonna tr attempt to show you guys mm -hmm. how we refresh our hair. And we were both just sitting here like talking because we do two different things. Your process definitely takes a little bit longer than my process. Yeah. And, and the products we use can depend on the day or the state of our hair, depending the, on the, the washing go, the weather, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of factors here. We didn't um, want to be that uncertain because we're supposed to be teaching you guys something and now we're acting all confused and uncertain. I think it's because we're being put on camera and we want to bring you this information, but we're, we're feeling like if it goes south, you know, but um, I think it's just the pressure of trying to show you what we do because we just do it every day like yeah. it's no big deal now it's just like oh my gosh all eyes on us hope this works you know yeah but um, we really want you to concentrate on the technique yeah not so much of the products that we use mm -hmm. other than like we just don't use just plain water because the products fizz. yeah can sometimes vary right depending that's why like for me I was like you know everybody has a product stash so I might be snatching this one day and snatching that another day right. and but I didn't want to come here with a whole lineup of products for you guys like you need all that to refresh your hair like and I kind of use it as know. um when you do alterations on a dress or something they have you put it on and then they measure you and then they do that they they measure you and they fit you to those measurements and then you go back two weeks later and then they see where this has to be nipped and this has to be tucked whoever watches say yes to the dress they always have to do some extra work mm -hmm. so we're going to start off how we basically do it but then we might see a straight curl here a straight curl there then we'll start like catering it to that day to that moment yeah so these are the techniques that we use when we see a problem i'll point out the problem okay this part is frizzier normally maybe i would just use just kink drink and that would be it but on other days i definitely go in with maybe a cream or maybe something else or maybe yeah. i might use a little water to dilute the cream in my hand it just depends it you depends. have to kind of find your own technique yeah so we're just going to show you kind of like our technique and just as we always say eat the meat and throw away the bones just take what you can from <laughs> this yeah and um this will just kind of be the beginning of the foundation of trying to show you guys how to refresh yeah we're gonna do our okay. best here we're gonna do our best that's long hair this is short hair how to refresh short right. hair just best wait before you hit the dislike button right just wait. <laughs> <laughs> give us a chance right. <laughs> okay so this is four day hair this, this is, is four day hair yeah, yeah this is uh, how i do it at night mm -hmm. two pineapples one here and one I here. I call this her dinosaur. This is my dinosaur. <laughs> and we'll show you um, in another video how we do pineapple. Yeah. But this is what would happen this in the morning. It. This is how we sleep. When I wake up either before we film or before we go out, this mm -hmm. would be exactly how I would wake up in the morning. This has been all rolled around on a silk pillowcase now. So it's, you know, it's not all that messed up. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just, I'll take this down, take this down, and I'll begin the refreshing process. Yeah. So mine isn't in a pineapple. Sometimes I pineapple, which is like how yours is, how the hair is in the in a high, like, tie, but it's yeah. it's out and free. Yeah. Mine's not free. Mine's actually in a bun, and sometimes I will bun because I don't want my ends out free. Sometimes I find that my ends get flat and pointy. So this, mine's actually in a bun, and it's been in a bun for about like two or three days since this is day four my hair's just been sitting in a bun yeah so i don't really know what's gonna happen once i take this down we're okay. all gonna see together yeah yep so if you would like to see our refreshing process how we are going to refresh this day four hair then please keep watching please keep watching okay we're gonna get started okay. this is the takedown this is the takedown this is the takedown okay. so this is like i said this is how my hair is two pineapples i'll take it out of this bottom. actually i've gotten a new little scrunchie mine is just all cloth um, before I was using the telephone cord thing mm -hmm. so mine is always this black headband and I this is tie twice definitely four days of um, undone hair so oh, wow, it's gonna be product. complicated mm. definitely okay so looking looking at my hair this is kind of what i do first i just kind of shake it out mm -hmm. get it loose um i don't feel a cast but i feel like a slight one kind of um so that's good that means you know my curls are intact yeah ish ish they are a little bit elongated because they were sitting in that bun so i'm feeling like the, the separation the distinct separation of where the pineapple was so i'm trying to see like i said every day is different um my hair is definitely getting long so mm -hmm. So this is just kind of the, the shaking out point right now. So now I'm going to, so some days I can probably complicate this and make this a huge project and a mess and I don't definitely want to do that, nor would I want to do it if I wasn't filming. 
So I'm going to try to simplify this as much as possible by starting out um, using the King Drink and thinking that could just be the only thing today to bring it back to life. And then after that I take um, different measures if it looks like it's not going to cooperate. Okay. So this is typically what I go in with first. I really don't do a whole lot when it comes to refreshing, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I have this whole big process because I really don't. Um, this is always the first thing I go in with is the cream of nature, the coconut milk detangling <coughs> right? and I conditioning leave-in conditioner. That does smell good, though. Yeah, it does. And um, I just spray this all over my hair. My hair is actually not in that bad of a condition for day four spray this all over. I really think this is a great refresher. I, I almost think it creates the curls anew. Oh. And like I keep stressing as of late in comments and lives and everything else, don't touch it. So I'm going to see when I can start touching it that this is going to need some work. This is not going to do its own thing. It's going to need some extra work. So, but right now, yeah, and just me, try to let it spread apart. It's always this side. Let it breathe a little bit. This yeah. feels completely dry in the back, like nothing hit it. No kink drink or anything. Yeah, so my ends are a little eh. Maybe I'm going ham on the kink drink, and you know, and maybe I am. You know, that's just how I refresh my hair. Everybody refreshes differently. All right. So we just kind of let that sit for a second. Mm -hmm. Let it bake. You like kind of like let it fall into itself. And then when we're ready to start actually taking individual pieces to form kind of like your look for the day, then um, sometimes like, well, no, actually I probably wouldn't go out because of this one piece hanging, but if you have to jump in the car, let the wind blow and scrunch more and all that, but there's no rush here because I wanted to show you how it's done when you do it properly and you take your time and do it. Oh, so you're down and loose and nice. Yeah. My hair kind of falls back into place relatively quickly. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot. I'm definitely going to be getting with my my edges, though. I definitely like to slick those down. So, we're just going to let this sit for a couple minutes, mm -hmm. and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Okay. Let me see if I can pull this in a little bit. Okay, so we have just kind of like sat here talking for about two minutes, whatever. Just as I always say, let this dry before you start touching it. So then I kind of just kind of go in to bring it back into the little curly afro that I kind of been wearing lately that I like and that kink drink just kind of contains it all and makes it you can almost see the shape of it coming back now now the straight pieces that are just this right here that's not a curl so then that's when I will start going in and doing hand work <laughs> yeah fixing each individual thing and when I do that I will use um, what is this sultanicals can't, can't believe, believe it's, it's not, not butter. Um, butter right here I like that so for me the the place that really always acts up is this side of my head like these pieces here and lately I've been going in with the curls aloe and blueberry juice curl moisturizer because it's watery but it kind of has like a gel feel and it just um, it makes those pieces like stick together and it like creates like a, a curl and it just gets it together so, so what I just did I don't want to interrupt you was to spray my palm with kink drink just so I could wet it. If I didn't have that, it's okay. I would have used water for this part of it because I know I'm going in with a product. So, and I, system. I sprayed my palm with this curl stuff and I just kind of grabbed the pieces that I need and just kind of run it down. And you gotta find the almost, I don't know what, how else to call it, but the grain of your curl, because if you twist it the wrong way, so I have to see if this is the way my curl is gonna twist, twist it this way, or sometimes you go this way, you unravel it. So I have to see which way it's staying put. I'm putting on my glasses now because I have to see. Yeah, so see, it's going. It'll go up as I work my way through. This right here needs some work. So again, I'll spray, oops, my hand with just a little bit. So I just go. It is, you know, natural hair is a job, okay? So let's, you know, not all like be, be like bewildered, like it takes this long. Uh, yeah, it really kind of does. That's why when we all big chop and think we're gonna roll out the bed, not quite. 
it's not quite the way it works. It is definitely some work. Some days are more than others. Unlike a day like this where I've gone four days without doing anything, it is more messed up than it normally would be, say, on um, a day that I would have tended to it more often. So you just kind of like want to create that frizz-free curl again. I really like this Curl Moisturizer by Curls. I feel like it's so easy. You just spray it on your hands and grab the curls that need help and just run it over those pieces and they really just like come back to life without making your hair extra like saturated or wet. And so I really like this Curls product and then when it dries it just like blends in with everything else. I can do about these ends a little this bit. This right here looks a little frizzy. So I'm just pulling out parts that look frizzy. Again, just a little king drink in the hand. Just to wet that piece. And find how the curl is curling. I believe this side might curl this way going towards my right side where I'm pointing this way. So I guess this would be called finger coiling if you want to give it its name. I just feel like I'm bringing it back to its natural self, but I guess my natural curl pattern it looks like my curls sometimes are finger coiled. Mm -hmm. so now. People used to think your hair was finger coiled. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's your, uh, that's your, that's just your curl pattern. It looks, it's just super tight like that. And then you taught me that once they're dry, like now I wouldn't do it because it would unravel and look messy, but once it's dry, I can probably like break this up mm -hmm. for a few. This one still hang on a little longer, but as it dries, it will get um, shorter. I will find this one here. This is a straight piece down here. The comb. Oops, sorry. And then next, I just like I don't really look for perfection on refreshing days because I don't mind frizz. I don't mind a few little limp curls. A chunk um, this big I will divide into two to try to do something each piece. All right. So now I just always take a product and like go over my edges. I've been lately using the Sultanicals Frozen Dip and Grip and I will just take like a very little bit of that, rub my hands together and just smooth my edges down because they're like sticking up just a little bit and the back so I'm trying to find the way the curl curls on this side I thought it was going this way like I said and I'm not sure so now I'm going to play with it the other way and see what boings up more that's the only way I can kind of tell I think it goes actually this way. I just pick my hair out a little bit. Because what you want to do is just make sure that every curl is just like kind of like frizz free and it just all fits back into a style. As the day wears on, everything fits back into its place. So this is just hanging down because this is newly refreshed. But as you do what you have to do, running around the house, getting ready for work, going out, doing whatever you do during the day, your hair will fall back into place because you've picked up those pieces that are going to be problematic throughout the day. So I'll pick something up here on top. So that's basically it for me. Just spraying this all over to get my hair to be able to have some movement and not be stiff. It's just wetting it a little bit. My edges with something just to slick my edges down and then, you know, grabbing this curl moisturizer and just fixing a couple of pieces but I think I can do that because my hair is longer yeah so it's just you know it's definitely. I would walk out the house like this like whatever it's cool yeah it's definitely but. a little bit more work when your hair is shorter um, and this is four days so this is a good telltale sign of basically how difficult it will be so that's good I, sometimes on the top you don't know which way it's gonna go mm -hmm. but these are gonna be tightly coiled for a while until they dry and then you can kind of unravel them. This looks a little problematic here. This is a little higher up than the other pieces. So then I'll concentrate on this piece. And that's basically how I refresh. Just go throughout my hair, find the pieces that look problematic. This is a big piece, so I will divide this into two. And then when it dries, you kind of have like two pieces to unravel. Again, 
you know, just use the cream. Sometimes as you go along, your hands are still wet from the last refreshing moments. I have to spray each piece with the kink drink. And this is how we do it. Yeah, it's a great oh. technique that you found. Yeah, and it works. And do. then when you told me how to divide so that they're not just like looking like yeah. little Shirley Temple curls. Because her curls curl so easily. So I'm like, okay, mom, like you got that down. I'm like, now once your hair dries, I'm like, you have like these huge chunks of curls mm -hmm. in your hair. I'm like, just, you know, this one can be separated into three or this one can be separated into two. And yeah. So cool. I guess what I'm doing is just finger coiling. And then um, so these pieces will definitely hang longer than the ones that are part of the style. Until so they, they dry, right? Until they dry. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so it looks kind of Baby Jane Hudson-ish. <laughs> and whatever happened to Baby Jane, Joan Crawford and <laughs> Betty Davis. And so, but when they dry, then you just pull it out and basically pick it out. And that's really how I do it. I spray it and then find the pieces that are problematic. No more really problematic. Really, that can't really be easily fixed. And that's it. Pe so once, it, once your hair dries, those pieces will shrink up. Yes. And then you can like separate. Yeah. They'll be like so shrunk and I may not even be able to see where they would want to hung low and have to separate them um, because they might be cause more frizz if I do that at that point once they're dry. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to wait until it dries. But basically, it's not going to take that long because it's just um, refreshing. This is refreshing day four. Yeah. Now, what if someone diffuses? Could they like diffuse those pieces back into place? Um, I suppose they could. I've never diffused, so I can't really speak to that part of it. But I, I suppose that would speed up the drying process. I kind of like to do everything just natural because I don't mm -hmm. want to create the frizz that I've just tried to eliminate True. in my hair. So, but then after that, you get the, the pick. And you know that everyone knows that day two, three, four are better days. Mm -hmm. So you're going to expect some frizz. Like I am not going to go through, that's the mistake I used to make, saturating my whole head, going back in the shower, in the bathtub, in a sink, wetting it all over again and starting brand new. And you lose that big fullness. I would see pictures and I'm like, how did my hair look so cute there? Because I was always concentrating on day one hair. I thought day one was the best. And then I started seeing pictures. And I'm like, that had to be when you're like, Ma, come quick, take a picture. And I'm like, I must have just jumped out of the bed, messed up my hair and just got in front of the camera. And this yeah. is probably um, day three or day four. So that's when I started concentrating on how to refresh because I liked the bigger look. This look does not get created on day one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to expect pieces here. Like, you know, you can see kind of where the dark pieces are, where there's no highlights, you know, that's um, my roots and my scalp area. And it's just what creates the volume in the big hair. Yeah. So in conclusion, yeah. what is, what's like in a sentence or two, like what, what's the technique that you, that you did? What I do is take down my time pineapples from the night before, assess the situation, start away right away with some sort of a refreshing spray, um, not water. Not water. water with a conditioner, your favorite conditioner, shake it up, make sure it's anything other than just straight water, because straight water, to me, I believe it helps um, promote the frizz. So anything that is promoted as a refreshing spray because it has properties in it to maintain that curl. Mm -hmm. And then you spray it all over your hair, do not touch it, let it sit for a bit. Don't and touch then, it. Then as you are starting to see it settle into your hair, you just start looking at the pieces that you see where the work has to be done. The whole head does not need to be worked because if we all did that every day, we would be styling our hair completely with the sense of refreshing. Mm -hmm. So you just find the pieces that are standing out, that are screaming for attention, and those are the pieces that you give attention to, yeah. not the whole head, because you might as well just do your hair all over again. Yeah. So. And so you can either, like, it's like my hair, I can't really finger coil because I don't have that tight of a curl pattern like you like I don't really know what my my curl pattern is but I can't sit and twirl my hair around my fingers that my hair just doesn't curl like that oh, so no. for me as you guys saw like I was taking the piece and just kind of pulling it down and letting it like boing back up the way it wants to boing back up so there's like two different techniques here if you have like longer hair like mine or your hair doesn't have that spiral kind of uh, curl right like you know you can just kind of um, even sometimes with your hair I'll be playing with it while it's wet and I'll just like pull it down and let it right. boing back up the way or um, going back up the way it wants to so for me you guys saw I was kind of like pulling it and then I let it go um, and it it's gonna do its thing how however my hair curls and you don't have to so. have a distinct coil to do what I just did the main thing the takeaway from here is 
make sure you use anything other than water unless mm -hmm. you mix water with conditioner. Yep. Use some sort of refreshing spray no matter what it is. I happen to use the Sultanicals kink drink today. Yep. Um, I happen to use some sort of a cream just in case mm -hmm. um, you don't have the cream. I would go back to what I used for the original wash and go which was the Camille Rose Natural Curl Maker and the Sultanicals Knot Sauce. Mm -hmm. Either one of these, maybe both of them mixed together. Whatever it would take other after I spray my hair. Yeah. Then I want to try to put in some sort of a cream or a So styler. whatever your, your styler is, you can always use those stylers yeah. to refresh. Yeah. Um, yep. And, um, and then just watch. You, everyone's curl pattern is different, so you just see where the areas of concern are once you refresh. Once you spray and let it sit, that's the key. You have to let it sit. And then once you let it sit, you have to see what has popped out as frizzy mm -hmm. and say, okay, so this is a little frizzy. Then you separate it from everything else so that you're not messing up the whole side of your head or the whole top of your head. You're just separating it. Like as I'm talking, I'm noticing that this right here still looks a little problematic. So I separate it from everything else. This mm -hmm. is the troublemaker right here. And just put a little bit of product here to smooth it out and find the way the curl curls in this area and just try to do that, bring it back to mm -hmm. life. But that's all you kind of, this is the way I refresh. Maybe if your hair is as short as mine, um, this is the way you refresh. Maybe if you have a, um, a braid out or a twist out, I personally would braid that little section, like two or three little sections in my hair if I had a braid out and I wanted to keep that look. And probably at that point I would use a diffuser or even probably a blow dryer on medium to speed it up because you, I would just rebraid it again with product and then as it, once it's dried from the dryer, just for that like one day, I would unbraid it again. Mm -hmm. And there would be my redone braid out, temporarily. Um, but if you are looking for like a good like refresher that's not like a spray but like so I use this as my refresher spray and then this for like my individual pieces I really do like this I think this dries really fast and it has amazing slip it has like this um it's aloe it has aloe in it and it just you spray it in your hair and like you just pick the individual pieces and it's kind of gel like but it, it's like a soft hole kind of gel like it has like this good feeling that's slippery and it adds shine to those pieces and I just think this is a really great refresher the curls aloe and blueberry juice curl moisturizer i really 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 like this because those pieces over here are already dry and they're they're just blending in with their friends right so like that's it so if you try too early like i just did you're just going to create frizz it's okay you just coil it back up and say okay it needs a little bit more time or figure out how i'm going to unravel this great big piece here to fit in with the other pieces but um that's just how you kind of refresh and you see these pieces here that are hanging that once they dry they're still wet so I'm not going to try to pick them out and all that now um, once they dry completely I will unravel them and they'll either go back into my head or I'll just use a pick to pick it out bigger mm -hmm. but that is just really kind of how you refresh yeah so these are these are our techniques about how, how we refresh mm -hmm. our hair how the the process go down the process goes down again the the products can vary depending yeah. on like what you have or what you have that's similar or maybe you might, might want to buy a couple of these and like try it you rave about the kink drink i do i love this moisturizer you know yeah. um i do because this one of them this one's getting ready to go into my empties right here and then this is one i started today so i really love the kink drink mm -hmm. um another good one is curl fuel by curl junkie but this one to me has topped that one so i love this yeah um you told them what you have in your hair um yes my wash and go was day four of the Sultanicals Marula Melon Moisture Guru and the Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. We do have a video on our channel of this wash and go. It's under the Mix It Up. We show both of these wash and goes in that video. If you guys want to see the process of how we put those products in our hair day one, yeah. we have that on our channel. Um, I hope we answered. I hope we did. If I not, hope we answered. I mean, I don't really know how the video was kind of supposed to go. Yeah, how are, how it goes, but we wanted we to show you the basic techniques. The yeah. takeaway from here, the takeaway, like we said, is the spray, and then you just kind of like sort out and figure out which are the parts that are frizzy and the parts that's basically refreshing. You just want your hair to look neat and yeah. intact. You don't want it to presentable. Be presentable. <laughs> you don't want frizz um, all your all over your head. Frizz to a point. Yeah. Um, to add to the style, but not because that's frizz definitely gonna come where it looks messy as the right. days come. Definitely yeah. frizz because people are like, you know, day two is frizzy, day three is fr like yeah. That's definitely coming. Frizz is coming, but you can you can tame it. A little bit. It you takes know, a ways while to, tame it. to embrace frizz. I mean, totally. You, yeah. you, you used to always tell me I love frizz, I love frizz, and I never thought I'd get to the point where I love frizz. Now I very carefully 
try to maintain all this extra bigness here is all all layers of like hidden frizz but mm -hmm. it's adding to the volume to of the it. volume yeah, yeah totally so if I actually saturated this here all over again this would all be flat again I want the volume I want the extra frizz mm -hmm. so you want to kind of embrace um, your natural hair in yeah. that way yep so, so I, I love that you can refresh your hair now because it's totally sickening it is it looks so good <laughs> it looks so good except for these crazy curls right except there. for those but once they curl back up yeah then it's a good situation yeah yeah so we'll sit here and talk turn it off and then I'll let these do their thing and then I'll show you once they are fully done and I'll just pick them out in front of the camera okay okay all right, all right. So we'll be back so we'll be back <laughs> okay so basically I've played and played and twirled and curled as much as I could um, and because like the time restraints it's um, this is basically the way it would look if I had a, like if I wanted to have more time to really really show like I'd have a whole day and I'm not gonna sit here the whole day and do it you've seen the technique you've seen what I've done this is basically what I would do at the stage when I would pick it out maybe one or two is hanging a little bit longer like this one but it all kind of whole, falls into place so at this point then my hair is pretty much dry and that's when I just kind of pick it out and that piece that hung a little lower just gonna, kind of gets hidden in Cute. That's just how I refresh. You just try to even it out. You know, make it bigger here, bigger here. Try to even it off. Mm -hmm. And um, these it pieces definitely here gets bigger. Might, yeah, as the that, days go on, that might have to unravel a little bit more. Put it dry. I don't want to like frizz because I do plan on having another day of this or whatever. But but that basically that's the technique. Mm -hmm. That's the technique. Yeah, I hope I hope this was, was helpful. You know, we tried to make it as in-depth as we could. Um, Refreshing, I think, is personal to each person. Each person's yeah. hair, you just don't know. I found this technique after a year and a half, what worked for me, my length, my hair, my curl pattern. Even as I'm doing this, even when the camera is off and I'm trying to kind of rush through this, I'm seeing I'm, I'm twirling this way and then I'm twirling this way. Every curl is kind of different. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like fabric, the grain of the fabric. So I'm trying to find the grain of the curl. And you know when you have it, when it, when in my hair, when it looks like that coil, if it doesn't, it kind of looks weird and just spirally and messy and half curled at the top and half let loose at the bottom. It's just weird, but I know when I found the grain, and then I'm like, okay, this is it, because it kind of boings back in um, to the hair. So those are the techniques that we use for refreshing. This yeah. is what I use for my length of hair. Um, this is what I do for my length, yeah. which isn't much. Yeah, know, um, so, yeah, some people are just lucky just to be able to take the pineapple down and, and shake. I could never do that. You saw when I first took the pineapple down how I had that distinct part this part was going one way the back was like kind of laying flat I had to get it all back together again and that's kind of what I try to show you here what I did and um, that's as best step by step as we can do as we can do yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so comment down below what you think how you refresh if um, you've tried this um, was helpful if you were lost in, in what I did if you need a little bit more explanation um, because it's really it's really all on the technique yeah and kind of getting to know your own hair mm -hmm. and accepting what you have and getting used to the whole idea of the natural hair and what to expect like it took me a long time to understand that frizz was part of the project and I couldn't accept frizz so therefore I couldn't accept refreshing mm -hmm. but once you accept that your hair is going this is huge my hair was not like this four days ago it was nice and done and neat and then I just kind of like picked it up when we came back on camera to show the day one mm -hmm. but this is entirely different if you go back to that first video that we did yeah so you have to just embrace that as each day goes on and you want to refresh mm -hmm. and it'll embrace save embrace. you a whole lot of work yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in our next video see you in our next video all right bye, bye.